Well, I don't know how well that you can see me. I got most of the lights off in here. Kind of a real, real nice Saturday night. You know, the time is going to change and it just makes you feel like spring is around the corner. Life is pretty good lately. I've kept myself busy. You know, it's no secret, I guess, how I drive myself. It's either a work activity or it's motorcycling or it's music or writing or something. Uh, and it made me think tonight uh, when I was looking at different things in YouTube. Uh, it's sort of recommended that, you know, if you've got a channel, keep it what that channel's about. And if you add something else, so, <laughs> fuck it, me. you know, my channel, The Journey of Discovery. Okay, so then through the winter. Uh, music, you know, the blue robe music. And now it's in the tree service. Motorcycling is kind of moving off a little bit and sometimes it's landscaping outside or whatever. But for me, the struggles that I've had and the journey that's taken me through it, those things are all part of the journey of discovery. So at first it was the deep dark. Uh, you know, I, I talked a lot in therapy about, uh, you know, this journey about around the bend and what's around the bend or your mind's going around the bend or finding your way out of it with music, the bend, bending the note. So around the bend has uh, meant a lot to me. So that is the journey. So I share it all. I share whether I'm sitting around talking like I am now in a robe or whether I'm in hammering away at something in my mind and trying to bring out music in my robe or one of my true loves that I've got back to, uh, the, the forest and tree work. So it's all part of the journey. And then when I take off on the bike, that's when I get, you know, I, I sort of, more introspective, uh, get a little deeper with what I'm thinking about. Uh, it allows me to probably open up a little bit more. And, you know, there's been a lot of people uh, lately, you know, that have gone. Uh, good friends uh, early in life uh, to people that work for me. The one late 58 or 58, the other one, you know, mid 70s, another uh, good dear, you know, family friend, early 70s, uh, a cousin, 69. These, this is all like within the last three months. Uh, some other people that are, you know, really close that, you know, I don't, I don't share a lot about the, you know, family stuff like that. So, and then I got a message tonight of another good friend is not doing well. So it's important, I guess, to, uh, to be extremely grateful, to be thankful for the life that I have, that I've, you know, uh, not reinvented or refound, but just the way that it's been reborn. Uh, and I'm going to take full advantage of every bit of it whether it's exploring music, sitting in that chair over there reading, whether it's out in my yard, on the bike, with the chainsaw, in the little mini. That's what my life is. And my friends and my family. So things can change that I'm learning things can change really really fast and it can be gone so I just think it's really really important to take advantage of every minute of every day whether it's a peaceful Saturday night coffee whether it's saying to your friends and family that I love you all very much I thank you for helping me Thank you.
helping me through my struggles in this journey and uh, the great feedback. So take advantage of it, folks. Really take advantage of it.